All right, so jumping back into the Blitzball tutorial, we are going to go over tech copying. So players can learn techniques from their opponents. This is called tech copy. So first, you're going to need to have one of your players mark an opponent who knows a desirable technique. This marking happens before the game. So when you're selecting your player's formations, you'll go through that menu and then the next menu will be selecting techniques for your players and then the third menu will be selecting the marks like who they're going to cover so in that you're also going to have an option to choose mark mode that's a separate formation but what that does is the player will keep an eye on the opponent in order to learn the technique and when you switch your position to mark mode the player will actually pursue that opponent so we're going to have Titus push up here. So we're going to select Break to Bixen. So Tech Copy is going to appear when Bixen uses the uh, technique he has equipped. So this is the window of opportunity to learn that technique. So we're going to press A uh, and or, you know, uh, X to learn it, depending on your console. So we can just dribble through. And then Venom Tackle happens. And then we learn the technique. Keep in mind that every single tech copy has a different timing window. I find the most success with Venom Tackle when the feet are fully in the air. So like right before the tackle occurs. Um, other things like Sphere Shot, Invisible Shot, um, you know, Nap Tackle, all these things have different timings associated with them. But yeah. So just remember as well, the player who learns the technique is not necessarily the one it's used against. So Titus got tackled here, but that doesn't mean that Jasu couldn't have learned the technique. All you need to do is mark them in the menu before the game, and then they can learn it no matter who it's used against or how far away your player is. Uh, the only discrepancy is level. So if they're a lower level, it's harder. So players who have marked that opponent are the ones who learn the techniques. If multiple players have marked them, only one will learn at any one time. I would like to point out as well, if you have someone who is a very low level and it's unlikely they're going to learn the technique, and you have another person who could learn the technique, probably only target the opponent with the player with the high level. Because having someone with a low level trying to tech copy can prevent everyone from tech copying, depending on RNG. So yeah, and then your players have difficulty learning if they're a lower level than their respective targets. So once you've learned a new technique, you can equip it at halftime or at the start of the next Blitzball match. But yeah, so that is uh, tech copy. Going into a summary here, you mark opponents to learn their techniques. Marking happens in the menu before the actual Blitzball game. You press A and or X when tech copy appears to, uh, to learn it. Don't always press it immediately because tech copy timing differs for the technique you're trying to copy. So tech copy fails if an opponent's level is too high. Um, it doesn't always fail, it's, it's just less likely to succeed. But yeah, so if there's uh, any questions or anything, please let me know in the comments below and I can help answer them and help you guys learn more about tech copy. Anyways, till next time.